myself and I had so much time to sit down and think about myself and then there she was. Like... Hey! What's up guys? What is up man? Welcome back. Hey, check it out. You want to know what I did? I fixed my mistake. Yeah, the last uh, episode we posted, if you guys didn't catch it, go back and check it out. But yeah, I kind of screwed up and I burnt through this edge right here on the door jam or whatever you want to fucking call it. It's whatever. Anyhow, I got it all fixed up. It's straight. It's like it never even happened, bro. I got a little bit more work to do to it, but whatever. Never mind that because that's done. It's pretty much finished. Uh, whatever. So, what are we going to do today? I got a couple ideas, so let's go check it out. stuff go here it is the hinges the hinges for the doors today we are going to be spraying these black because i do not want them to be the same color as the car because i don't know i just think it's going to look better with black hinges so whenever you open it up and you see inside the door jam there the hinges are going to be black and i also got hardware i'm not going to be using the factory hardware once again i'm going to be using some aftermarket hardware on the hinges for the doors this is only uh, for one door, by the way. Uh, and these are the hinges for the rear hatch. We're gonna be painting these black as well, and I also got some nice shiny hardware for those too. So I think that's gonna make it look a lot better. It's gonna make it pop, you know, you know that, that I'm always talking about, pay attention to the little things, you know, all those little things that just add detail to your build that's gonna make you stand out from the rest, man. So that's what we're doing today. That's not the only thing that we're doing today. Alright guys, now what we got here is obviously all the hinges for both doors, or the rear hatch, uh, wire brushes that I got from Harbor Freight. This is what I used uh, to basically scuff these up, I just... <laughs> the primer I'm going to be using is an aerosol, uh, this is, uh, I'm sure you guys are able to read, but Rust-Oleum. Um, I got my Seda Jet, it's already filled up with black paint, of some more 12 wire. And obviously my side cutters for cutting uh, pieces of 12 wire. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is, uh, holy crap, you can't see that. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm just going to hang them from these little eyelets on my tarp right here. Since, I mean, they're not really heavy. Uh, that's going to be able to support it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to hang these things up and then we'll get to priming them. Alright guys, there they are all primered up. I'm um, going to have to give these a little bit of time to set up and dry. Um, from experience, anytime that you are using uh, an aerosol primer or paint or anything along those lines, I always uh, give it a little bit more time to dry than what I would if I was spraying a primer from my gun. While we're letting that stuff dry, I have something inside the garage that we can do. So let's go check it out. All right guys, now back to the Civic. Uh, when I sprayed this, I went ahead and sprayed inside of these wheel wells. Um, just because, I don't know, my OCD wouldn't allow me to not paint something that is there. <laughs> so, um, one thing I'll say is they, they look like shit. So, cause what I originally planned on doing is I wanted to remove all this crap and I wanted to get it down to just bare metal in which I was gonna just color match the wheel well and I was gonna leave it that way. Um, but in the process of getting all this stuff off, I realized that it's a lot more work than what I was willing to do. Um, and especially for an area that you're really not gonna ever see. So I went and bought a can of this uh, undercoating, paintable rubberized undercoating. It's made by USC. Um, this is black. I I bought this from old school, same place I get all my stuff. All right, so basically what you're gonna wanna do first is, um, 
I mean, I think it's obvious you need to mask off all the holes and stuff that's going to prevent this shit from getting into the engine bay and messing up our paint. Um, and what I'm actually going to do is kind of just put a, a row of tape along this edge here and cover the areas that I don't want to be black because for the most part, I just want this crappy looking area all in here to be hit. Um, and that's it. So um, I haven't, I didn't prepare this side, but I got the other side all prepped up for you guys. So, so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, I already kind of sprayed a little section right there, but don't worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how you, how this stuff goes down. Um, I I pretty much want to keep all this the the color of the body. You know what I mean? So from right here and all that crappy looking area, that's what I'm gonna be spraying with the black. Um, if I I don't know if I already said it or not, but this stuff has a texture to it, so that's kind of what I'm hoping for, is it's gonna make it black and it's gonna add more of that texture to kind of uh, make all this this crap that's already there just look a little bit more uniform, so where it's more consistent and it doesn't look so shitty. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna open the garage door up, uh, roll the car out a little bit so we have better lighting and better uh, ventilation, obviously, and let's get on it. Cause I said from my soul So I've never personally used this stuff myself. Uh, the guy at Old School explained to me that it obviously comes out really thick. So the closer you get, you, you get close and it, it leaves kind of a, a really thick uh, coat. Um, the farther away you get, the more you get that like splattered texture look. So what I'm going to try to do, because I only bought one can. Um, I would like to do all four wheel wells, but if it's only enough to do the two front, I'm fine with that because the rear wheel wells, you really don't see at all. Um, so anyhow, what I'm going to try to do is do a really heavy coat on them first, and then after that kind of sets up, come back and a little bit farther away, leave like a, a splattered texture over the top of that. So we have a nice thick protective layer, um, and I think it's going to help to fill in a lot of this cracking and shit that's in the uh, in the factory uh, undercoating, you know what I mean? So it's just gonna give it a cleaner look. So let's give it a try and see how it comes out. All right, well there you have it, guys. That's the uh, that's the finished product right there. Uh, I I think it came out pretty clean. I like how it looks. I I know a lot of um, I've seen a lot of people who will do either this or paint their wheel wells black, and when they do, they they paint this section right here with it. Um, I've seen them paint this. Hell, even go all the way up and paint all this. I to me, I think it just makes it look a lot cleaner. Um, doing it this way in behind this pinch weld that whole area is black and leave anything in front of this pinch weld the uh, the color of the car now granted you're not gonna see this very often but I mean it's just the little things man it just adds you know I, I keep repeating myself but it just adds that little bit of detail to it and this nice little clean line that just follows that body line right there you know it's just that little stuff man you take that extra step to make it look you know a little more unique and that's what makes you stand out so all right guys there's the driver's side uh inner fender well all finished and it came out looking just as good as the passenger side so once again 
my camera focused. There's the passenger side. And there's the driver's side. And I wanna let you guys know that this can that I bought, I mean, this stuff worked amazing. Um, one can, I, it's completely empty, okay? And I was kind of stretching it to completely cover this one. So one can is enough for two fender wells. You'll not get all four fender wells finished with this one can. And this can is an 18 ounce can. So this is a little bit bigger than what uh, I seen because I stopped at Checkers and AutoZone and looked at what they had as well before I went to old school just to get a price reference because I mean I'm just like probably most of you guys try to get the cheapest shit you can. Um, the, the, you know, the, the best quality shit for the cheapest price. And this can here is 18 ounces and it was 10 bucks. Where at AutoZone and Checkers, their cans, I believe, were either 12 or 15 ounces, and they're the same price. So, uh, same price, but a little bit of a bigger can. So, if you end up getting the stuff from AutoZone or Checkers, um, I would recommend getting two cans, since they are smaller. And this can barely cover two, uh, two wheel wells. So, um, if, you want, if you're wanting to do all four wheel wells, uh, two cans of this will do it. Um, if you get the smaller can, you'd want to get three cans. So just a little bit of information for you guys if you are interested in doing the same method on your car. But anyhow guys, that's a done deal. So let's go and get out there and see how our primer's doing on the hinges and get those sprayed. All right guys, our primer's all dry. Uh, when I'm going through spraying these, what I'm actually gonna do is kind of hold them open like that and spray those little sections right there uh, that you can't really get to whenever it's just hanging so I'm gonna go through one at a time and make sure I get those spots um, so that whenever I get them on the car and the door is open it doesn't have spots that are just bare and not painted because that would be pretty shitty but yeah I'm just gonna fast forward through this and get it done so let the music begin <laughs> All right, guys, it is a new day. This is dry paint. And this is them on the car. Oh, hang on a second. You gotta love movie magic, you know what I'm saying? It saves me so much time, you won't even know. Watch, check this one out. This is the car, completely finished. Uh, K24 bottom end, full internals, uh, sleeved, K20 head, chilling at the dyno right now, getting tuned, check it out. Son of a bitch, dude. You can't win them all, you know what I mean? Ah, well, I guess we'll have to finish the car ourselves. But, you know, I think it came out pretty cool. I mean, it just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just adds a little bit of character to it, you know what I mean? I mean, look at that shit. What's up? What y'all know about that? I think it's pretty sweet, dude. I really like it. I like it a lot. Let me, let me know what you guys think. I know that... I mean, I, I don't know if this is one of those kind of things you either hate it or love it, or, I mean, I, I just, I don't know, I think it looks cool. I think it's just going to add a little bit more detail whenever the doors are on. You open the door up, and you just see in there. I don't know if you'll really be able to see that hardware. Eh, you probably will, but I know you'll be able to see this hardware on the door. Eh, whatever. Either way, I don't have these tightened completely up, because obviously I'm going to need to move them around a little bit whenever I actually put the door on to get it all aligned. Um, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much the finished product right there. Alright guys, that's pretty much all I have for today. Uh, we got the front wheel wells. I noticed in the footage I kept calling them fender wells. I don't know why. Wheel wells. We got the front wheel wells all undercoated. 
We got the uh, the hinges all painted black. Um, the new hardware on there, I think, looks pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. Leave it in the comments below. But uh, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much all I have for today. I'm gonna finish up, get all the rest of the hinges on. Um, but yeah, to all the new subscribers, welcome. To all the returning subscribers, welcome back. I appreciate you guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in and hanging out with me, of course. So smash that like button on the video. Make sure to do that. Peace out, guys. I love you. I'll see you on the next one.